Hey guys, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So another day, another foundation, but we are almost done. And as you can see by the title today, I am doing a BB cream from Black Radiance. Let's just get right into it so I can tell you what it does and put it on my face. So this is the Black Radiance True Complexion BB Cream SPF 15. This retails for $6 for one fluid ounce. This comes in five shades. This is the shade Brown Sugar. Let's see what it says about this. True Complexion BB Cream, the first multi-purpose skin perfected from Black Radiance, evens and refines dark complexions with 10 skincare benefits for natural looking radiance, exclusively formulated to enhance ethnic skin tones. The lightweight, oil-free beauty balm moisturizes, conceals, primes, smooths, and minimizes shine with blendable sheer color and lasting SPF protection. And then it has a section under it that says claims, moisturizes, smooths, primes, conceals, sun protection, Minimize shine, oil-free, even skin tone, enhances complexion, natural looking, radiance, pretty much everything I just read. So let me go ahead and start putting that on my... Okay, so there is brown sugar on the back of my hand. Now, on my face. Like, that's the one thing that I hate about squeeze tubes is that I feel like I never put the right amount on my face. I never know how much to squeeze out, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I either end up putting too much or too little on my face, but I feel like in terms of a BB cream, can you ever really put too much on? Like I feel like it all just blends out to be the same layer of sheer on your face. But you know, there, there's a price for everything, so let me not, let me not talk ahead of time. And for a sponge today, I'm gonna use the Fenty one. I feel like some of you may have caught on why I'm pointing out what sponge of the day I'm using, but if you haven't, there is a reason why um, I've been letting it known which one I'm using. Hint, hint. So that is it on my face, sponge side, brush side, and now I'm just going to set the brush side with powder. Okay, so set face, not set face. It is currently 1055 so I'm gonna go about my day and then come back so you can see how this held up on my face and give my thoughts on this BB cream So I am back and it is now 611 and this is what my face is looking like So I just need to get this out of the way because I am quite Confused does the side that I set with powder not look oilier than the side that I did not set with powder like just look, look at my T-zone. I mean, I just swiped off a whole bunch of oil, which is gross. Um, look at my T-zone on this side compared to my T-zone on that side. And I'm just sitting here throughout the day because I noticed this rather quickly on my face. I'm just like, doesn't that defeat the whole, the whole purpose of me putting the setting powder on so I could stay matte throughout the day? So that was interesting to me. But moving on from that, the only other thing that I... Uh, don't really care for with this BB cream is the creasing. I feel like I am really creasing with this BB cream. I keep wanting to say foundation, but I mean technically it still is a foundation, so moving on. Um, especially in this area here, you know, around my mouth, down here, and really right here. Like I told you guys the other day, I know my creasing is bad when the product is actually in here. Like when I can actually open this and there's actual products in there, that's when I know my creasing is really bad because usually it just stays on the perimeter i guess of that crease like on each side it doesn't go in that bad if it's not that bad of a creasing type of product but um when it's like literally in there i know my creasing is pretty bad and i also feel like the creasing is a little bit worse on this side than it is this side but then again this side does have more product on it you know this has primer sunscreen powder while this just has primer and sunscreen so i wouldn't care for that as far as the coverage of this bb cream goes um anyone expecting anything more than maybe medium coverage with a bb cream i think we're in the wrong category of foundation products there for you um this is a very sheer eh, a little bit of medium coverage type of bb cream i do feel like i got more coverage with the brush on this side of my face than i did with the sponge on this side so you know it might be like an application thing if you want a little bit more coverage putting this on your face um do i think it's buildable i i kind of don't but i do have to point that it is a very big but i don't feel like i would wear any other type of makeup if i wore this bb cream like maybe you know fill in my brows a little bit with a pencil throw on a lip gloss or something maybe some lashes if i want to be fancy with my no makeup 
pretty much no makeup look but I really feel like this BB cream would be for days where I'm in a rush or I just don't feel like putting on a whole bunch or literally anything besides this BB cream I just want to give my skin something you know a little bit of something to make it look not so you know I just woke up <laughs> type of face um, but I would not do a concealer I would not do powder I wouldn't do anything besides putting the BB cream on my face and I mean as we can see it could still stay pretty matte on its own throughout the day so um, I wouldn't worry about something like that but I just I don't know something about this I'm not getting the vibe of putting a whole bunch of makeup on top of if I if I did which I probably will try that now that I'm saying you know I probably wouldn't wear a full face on top of this but if I did um, you know do a full face would I try building this to would I try building this to full coverage I would absolutely not I feel like you would literally start looking cakey by that point um, would I try for a little bit more medium coverage? I probably still wouldn't even do that. Like literally the layer that I have on my face, I mean if anything I would just use a brush if I wanted a little bit more coverage, but the layer that I have on my face now is probably where I would stop. I wouldn't push for any more, you know, just uh, just make sure I'm, I pay more attention to the concealer that I use um, and you know like doing a full face and everything like that. But really I can tell you right now I'll probably only wear this. On its own but it's good to know that you know it'll stay <laughs> good on its own and I don't even need powder or anything like that that's just I don't know I don't know why I'm so giggly about that but I, I I am as far as the shades go I think I made the correct decision going with this shade it is the last one and I think I really just have to accept that even if it's a mainstream brand a brand that's supposed to cater to you know people of color or an indie brand that when it comes to BB creams they're just not like, I'm, I'm not going to be expecting some type of, you know, Lancome, Cover FX, Fenty foundation shade range. Um, I've mentioned before when I did the Glossier skin tint that, you know, they had this whole thing. Well, because it's supposed to be so sheer and just like a little a little layer on your face, you know, a little something between your skin and the sun that they don't put that many shades out there because the shades that they have are supposed to cover like, you know, a wider range, like more people can use them. I still don't know if I really, you know, go with that whole idea, but I'm, I'm assuming when it comes to BB cream that it's not just Glossier, it's, you know, a whole bunch of brands in general who feel that way because really it's, you, you've seen the products that I've been trying this week. Um, so, you know, I, I really feel like when it comes to BB creams, you're just going to have to go out there and see what it is that you can find. Did it just get really dark? Sorry, Summer doesn't know if it wants to come or not, so, um sun's playing outside um but i really do feel like you're really just gonna have to go out there and see what you can find and uh see if you can find things that work for you when it comes to bb cream but um yeah that's that's how i am feeling on this one that this will literally be the no makeup makeup type of bb cream that i'll be wearing when i don't feel like doing a lot but i want a little something almost forgot let me go ahead and insert that flash test right there we've been doing good we're gonna keep at it with me remembering to insert them into the videos and now I think that is pretty much it for this video we only have uh, one day left I believe so make sure you tune in for that and check out all the other days that you may or may not have missed well if you if you didn't miss it then I, guess. I mean you could just watch it again so you know what let me just let me just tell you to make sure to thumbs up and comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one bye